the channel my name is Amra with the Ramblin Richardson's today's video we're getting some things done around the house I've been really feeling pretty poopy pretty sure I have a head cold I haven't gone to the doctor I haven't been running a fever a lot of congestion the household chores have been slowly falling behind so today I'm playing catch-up in the laundry done cleaning the kitchen cleaning things up wiping things down it's warmer than it has been in the past like couple of weeks. I have to keep the axolotls, like beans hanging out right here, keep them cool. Water chillers for aquariums are three, four, five hundred dollars. Pardon me, I would need two of them. One for beans and then one for Frankie down here in this tank. Right there. It's his tank right there. Quite frankly, I just don't have that kind of money or space. An easy fix for that is to float water bottles. So last night I put a couple of water bottles. You can see them here into Bean's tank. Frank's tank is bigger and lower to the ground. So it stays a bit cooler. Bean's tank is right next to, adjust this here. This is uh, Johnny's enclosure right there. Got a heat lamp back up there in the corner. His water gets considerably warmer, so I floated a couple of water bottles last night to keep the temp down. We need to switch them out. The water's a little bit too warm for them. I'm gonna go ahead and fish these bottles out, and then I'm gonna replace them. Also, feed these guys. They're probably hungry. Let's give them a little food and cool them down. Biting me. All right. Now well, we got those bottles out. We'll put them in the freezer. Bring some new ones in. <clears throat> got a couple of water bottles here. He's ready. He's hungry. Let me put these in. All nice and easy. Just like that. <sighs> yes. That'll cool you off, huh, buddy? Yeah. Nice. Now let's do Frank. He's waiting. He's hungry too.
Okay. Got some crickets here. Let's see if we can feed Duke. He's already on the prowl. He knows something's up. He's in shed right now. Oh yeah. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there, buddy. He doesn't, he doesn't like the camera. Okay. It's okay, bud. Messy desk. Need the isopods here. They enjoy having protein, so. Couple of dead crickets. No problem. There they are. This is in our display case, so. Oh, how'd you get in there? Roach. Let me get that guy out. Quickly. Got him. Got him. Sorry to disturb you guys. Make sure we don't have any other pests. Nope. Just giant canyon isopods hanging out. can feed Sheila a couple of crickets. Well, I know she's hungry. She just went through shed. She's got a little stuck on shed on her foot. Got one. Crickets have been gut loaded with carrot. Let's see if she'll eat. Hey Sheila. What do you think about this right here? Shields. Conchi. We can see that, but this guy is juicy. 
got another one, Sheila. Oh. Oh yeah. Nicely done, my lady. Okay, my dear. Good job, Sheila. You caught that one. Ooh. Took that one straight off the tongs, huh, lady? Nicely done, Sheila. Yeah. Do you want some more? Yeah? We got more. There you go. Right here. Oh, nice. Another one, girl? We've got plenty to eat. Oh, head first. Good job, Sheila Beans. Tongs on that one, girl. Well, that's enough for Sheila feeding for one day. I'm gonna spray the crickets on to give them a little bit more moisture to drink. Okay, so this is my big isopod colony. You can see them crawling around in there. I put fish food in here yesterday for them, and it's gone. <laughs> So we're going to feed them a couple of crickets, see how they like that. And you can see they put plenty of moisture, so I'm not going to add any water. The crickets need some water. So I recently had a couple of you comment on one of my videos about beans and Frankie and their gills, the frills on their gills not being there. I totally understand that they aren't as healthy as I would like them to be. It's been a struggle for both of them since I've got them to have big, healthy, bushy gills, and I think it has a lot to do with the temperature. Some of you suggested doing more frequent water changes, smaller but more frequent water changes. We're gonna start a regiment of every single day, doing about a one one fourth to one third water change in each of the axolotls enclosures to see if we can help them regenerate a little bit of their gills to look a little more healthier without crashing the cycle of the tank because I know that Frank has definitely got some stuff to clean out of his tank but I appreciate everybody's comments it's a community and we don't want to tear each other down we want to build each other up ultimately we want to take the best care we can of these animals and that's exactly what we have in mind. I test their water parameters all the time. Let's see if we can do a water change every single day. See if that does anything. And I appreciate all you guys out there commenting. Thank you out there. Please subscribe to the channel.
Well, I forgot to film an ending for the video, so here it is. Guys, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life is about the journey, not the destination. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.